Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. If you are new here, my name is Cara. I upload three different videos every single week, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 5pm. That was 10, 5pm. And I'm talking a little bit quietly because it's Sunday, David is home and I hate filming at home when he can hear. I just have this image that he's listening in and all my mistakes. So hopefully I won't make many mistakes. Today's video is actually the biggest home bargains haul I think I've ever done. I went yesterday with my friend Lily um, and the aim was to go to get Christmas presents, presents for my own advent calendar and prizes for my giveaway. I did not get any prizes for my giveaway. I forgot about it till I got home and Lee reminded me that I didn't pick up anything. So that is gonna have to wait till payday now. So I'm really, really sorry. Um, but I did get some really good bits and I did get some food items as well from Home Bargains. I might keep saying B&M by accident, I always do that. I'm loving my background at the minute. I haven't turned the lights on. I probably should do that once or twice in a few videos, but I never think of it. I've done a full face of makeup today, literally to film two videos. That eye always looks fuller than this one. I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, please appreciate my efforts because I'm feeling quite good in myself today. I've got the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation on, which I am loving at the minute. Lashes on, literally just to film this video and fingers crossed an exciting video after. But you guys are here to see what I picked up in Home Bargains, so I probably should get on with that. The first bag I'm gonna show you is in my new canvas bag from Primark and these bits were mainly food items. I haven't got the receipt. Let me go get the receipt and I'll be back. I've just got the receipt. There is quite a lot on here. It doesn't tell you how many items I picked up, which is a shame, but look at all them things. So let's just get into the food item first. I picked up some Capri Suns. I haven't had Capri Suns in absolutely ages. I got the black currant ones and they were eight for two pounds. And I said to Lee, is that good or bad? Because I know you used to get either a pack of five, pack of five or a pack of 10. And now there's only eight in there. So I'm not sure if that's good or not, but they were two pounds. Um, Pringles, my ultimate favorite flavor of Pringles is the prawn cocktail. David's is the smoky barbecue. But I have actually tried these. They're the limited edition honey glazed ham flavour. And they are really nice. So I picked up some more. They're £1.29. Which I thought is quite a good price to pay for them. I picked up some more Skinny Whip bars. I love these. These are the sort of caramel ones. And like I say every single time, pop them in the fridge. They taste so much better in the fridge. I keep all my chocolate in there. I did go a little bit overboard with the sweets. have already been opened because I can't help myself. I got the chocolate limes and some eclairs. I'm going to open them and put them in my pot over there because I, I like just to have sweets in the evenings. The eclairs were 99p and the limes were 89p which are really good prices. I shouldn't have really picked up these as well but I picked up the loads of chews from Swizzlers. 18 pieces in here approximately and I love the banana skids, the fudge lees, to be fair I love all of them actually, drumsticks, refreshers, they're all the ones in there, 89p and then I got these ones because sometimes I just fancy chocolate in the evenings and these were more expensive, I know you can get these cheaper in Tesco's at the minute but they were 149 for 16 treat size chocolate. And you get flake, chomp, fudge, curly whirly, twirl, crunchy, twirl. I said twirl twice. Then I picked up this Jane Asher cookie mix sachet. This is just the normal milk chocolate chunk cookie mix. I need to do this haul today because I really want to make these this afternoon. All you have to do is add butter and it makes six cookies. 99p, which is a really good price. And yeah, like I say, I'm going to do them tonight. It's quick chocolate and banana pillows. I absolutely loved them last time and I just had to pick them up again. They are a small box of 350 grams, so approximately 11 servings. They were £2 something, I'm sure of. 189 I'm pretty sure the last time I got them, it shocked me as well. £1.89, which is really good, and I'm glad I got them. I really wanted to pick up the white chocolate Rice Krispies as well. They were £2.80, but that, that box was massive. 
but I couldn't justify getting both. Maybe if I didn't get so much sweets and chocolate, I would have got them. A bit boring. The Clean and Fresh Thick Bleach Simply Pink, and it says it kills coronavirus. This is so cheap, and I don't go for big brands. I think this works just as well, um, but I always do pick up a pink version to go in my bathroom. 39p, and then I also got the Harpic Twin Blossom Blocks for 189 There was two in the pack, but I've already put one in my toilet, so I had a big deep clean yesterday. And something that was on my list to actually grab while I was in there was face wipes because I'm nearly running out and I normally get the simple ones, but the Garnier ones were quite cheap in there. I've used them last night and I don't rave them, to be honest. They are, there's hardly any moisture in the wipes. They're not wet at all. So it's really hard to get makeup off. And it says that it removes waterproof makeup, which I probably wouldn't agree with, but they were £1.49 and they were the best brand for cheap. For cheaper price if that makes sense and now on to this huge bag and this is christmas that's all i'm going to say and now take a shot every time i say christmas because it's probably going to be a lot i finally went shopping for christmas presents so i mentioned it in another video but i'm actually doing my own advent calendar this year so i did get a few little bits for that so i will show you them first my own advent calendar i'm doing this year it's in a bid to save money but if i don't save money it's okay because i'm spending the money wiser than last year last year i got the glossy box advent calendar and i loved doing it i loved opening it and i liked doing all the photos for instagram that all that side of it i absolutely loved but this year i've decided to buy things that I really, really love. And I probably would buy here, there and everywhere, but it'll be better as a treat. A day, every day I'll get a treat for December. Sleigh Bells Candy Cane Bar Fizzer. This was 99p and yeah, just picked that up. So that'll be one, oh, one present. I also saw this and it's the St. Ives Cleansing Stick, Apricot and Hakuna Honey. And I just love the idea of this. So it says, cleanse away impurities so you can glow. Wet face, twist up the stick, rub over your face, massage with fingers, lava, and then rinse. It does smell really nice, actually. And yeah, there was, there was this version and then a blue one, but I thought I'd just pick up this one to start off with. This was $1.99 as well. I got myself a candle. I do actually already have two other candles in my advent calendar, but this one is a candle wick one so it's the crackling wood wick it sounds like a fire i've wanted one of these for a few years now and every time i go in home bargains i look at them b and m i think do them as well this was 5.99 and i wouldn't justify getting this any other time and i was with lee and i just thought you know what i'm just gonna grab it my other candles were 59p each so i justified it to myself and picked this one up and it smells really lovely. It's a two wick. It's the iced cranberry, sugared fig, blackberry and candy cane. And it was $5.99. And I'm so glad I picked this up. This is probably one of my favourite things from this entire haul. I'm so happy I picked this up. And for $1.99, I also picked up this for my advent calendar. It's something very different, but I love little arty, crafty little activities. I just think on a Sunday, maybe in the half term holiday coming up to Christmas, um, obviously it's not very Christmassy. They did have a gingerbread garland, which I absolutely loved, but they didn't have faces on it. And I just thought, you know what, me doing the faces on them would look so tacky. Um, so it's a shame that was 3 99 if you are looking for something like that. But I picked this up for 1 99 which I think is a great bargain. And now on to presents for family and friends. If you are a close friend, family, I would probably switch off now. I'm not going to say who they are for if I think they watch my videos. But also there is some really good present ideas in here. So I picked up this for one of my close friends. It's the Spa Secrets um, Clay and Gel Face Masks, 15 minute facials. And I actually got her face masks last year and she said she absolutely loved them. And they did have a, it was a calendar. I think there was 24 in there, maybe 12 days of Christmas. Um, and she said she absolutely loved it. I've given it away now, who's this for? Anyway, so this was £3.49 and I think that's a really good price. So you get a charcoal gel face mask um, that's perhaps to deep cleanse pores and removes impurities. Dead Sea Minerals to draw out oils, dirt and impurities. 
and then a clay face mask prepared deep cleansing clay containing vitamins a c and e with applicator as well which i think is a good present idea the whole beauty self-care i also picked up this it's the west lab peppermint joy 100 natural bath salts peppermint and green apple and i just loved the design it's definitely a christmasy item you can't you definitely can't smell this so this was 2.99 and i do want to go back and get some more but i had to be careful because obviously payday is in another i think 15 days two weeks so i only picked up one but for a kilogram of bath salts that's really good and i know a lot of my friends would actually really appreciate this if not some family members as well I should have done the face masks when i was mentioning the last product but i got these face masks i'll just show you two there's the polar bear and a penguin design on them pre-treated facial sheet masks hydrate and revitalize for normal skin these were 69p each and i'm actually going to go back at payday and get 10 more i think um for my christmas weekend away that is coming up soon and we love doing face masks so i can't wait to do that this is a radox set everyone loves to get sets like this for christmas it's actually got an eye mask in it as well but it's the relaxing sleep collection and i got this for david's mum um bath soap shower gel bath bomb and eye mask included and it was four pound four pound 49 and yeah maybe this and some of the bath salts that radox do also that's in a blue box um but i know she really does like them um yeah i just really like getting her pamper stuff for christmas i did pick up another christmas book for my nephew so this is 199 a peter rabbit tale christmas wish book I actually got one of these last time I went to Home Bargains for Amara and I said in that video, why didn't I pick up two? I've got one niece, one nephew, so I really should have picked up two. Um, but yeah, I grabbed that and that is obviously my first present for Bailey. I picked up some snowman and the snow dog coconut logs. My dad loves anything coconutty, so I picked up these. They've got a good date on them. 10 in a pack and I thought that's just something nice to pop in his stocking filler. 89p as well. He also loves Mars bars and Turkish delights so I'll get him some of them. Also for my dad I picked up the Lynx Africas. These are quite big bottles so I picked up two and I'm just going to do little presents for him and then an Amazon voucher because he loves Amazon. He's obsessed. I've lost my receipt. Um, so they were two twenty nine each. I'm not sure if that's good or bad, actually. I'm not sure if they're cheaper in savers, but picked it up while I saw them. I picked up some Christmas bags. I'm a bit strange, but I do the same. I get the same bag for all four of my best friends, and I kind of put <coughs> and I kind of put the same kind of presents in them. So I love them to be matching. Even though my best friends aren't friends with each other and they wouldn't know, I just like to do it for myself. They're 49p, which is a bargain, and they're really good size bags. To be fair, they're just like the normal ones, but bags can be so expensive. I got home and did find, I got my bag of wrapping paper out. Not that I'm anywhere near close to that stage yet. Um, and I do have some bags left over from last year, which is good because obviously I only picked up four. And I think I saved the best present till last. I actually picked up two, but I'll obviously only show you one. I picked up this Sleigh Bells Bath Time Treats Gingerbread House. If any of my friends are watching this, please get me this for Christmas because I would love this. This, just this, nothing else. I'd just love this. This was six ninety nine, and I think it is such a bargain so it has got four strawberry scented shaped bar fizzes a peppermint candy cane shaped bubble bar two apple scented round bar fizzes and two bubblegum scented bath bubble bars if i show you the picture that is everything inside for 6.99 so I picked up one for my sister. I don't think she watches my videos. And if you are Ellie, thank you for actually watching, but you shouldn't see this. Um, and one for Lauren's sister. She would absolutely love this. So this is gonna be her present. 6 99 is a bargain. Um, but yeah, if anyone's watching, I'd love I'd love to get one of these as well. And I didn't want to risk getting one and go back after payday just in case they sell out because I think this is 
this is brilliant so that is the end of this humongous home bargains haul i don't think i've done a haul like this for a very very long time um me and lee are actually going to go to home bargains and b m after payday because there's still a few things from my advent calendar that i need to get i really want a new christmas mug i cannot find one that i like anywhere um hopefully b m will have one and like i say i've started christmas shopping i've now got a few presents for my dad two for my niece and nephew and a scarf for my nan um i need to shop a little bit more but i need to pay date so thank you guys for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and stick around for more videos bye